welcome to another video and today is going to be a big day. Well, I mean, I hope it's a big day. It could literally be a terrible day. Because today I'm going to be testing my deadlift one rep max. Now before we get into it, a quick bit of context. So in case you're unaware, back in the day I used to be a powerlifter. At my best, my squat was at 262.5 kilograms, my bench press was at 180 kilograms, and my deadlift was at 310 kilograms. Now I quit powerlifting like four years ago, and subsequently my numbers have absolutely bombed. Like I basically spent a few years bumming around, technically bodybuilding, but mostly just focusing on social media, and in particular YouTube. However, a few months back, things changed. I built my own home gym, which by the way, is the sickest home gym on YouTube. Now the gym's got a pretty insane powerlifting setup and the combination of that, plus me getting bored of training like a bodybuilder meant that I've started to get a bit more into my powerlifting. Now, a couple of months ago, I started for the first time since my powerlifting days, running a proper periodized powerlifting program and it went unbelievably well. At the end of that plan, AKA two weeks ago, I retested my squat and I hit a 275 kilo PB, which is a massive lifetime best, felt insane. I then hit a 185 kilogram bench press PB, which again, is a lifetime best and again I was extremely happy with a massive milestone for me but when it came to my deadlift it friggin sucked I attempted 305 kilograms didn't get it and to be honest over the last three or four months I've tried to hit that same weight maybe five or six times and I failed every time the last couple of attempts I haven't even moved it off the floor which friggin sucks but has also left me pretty confused right because like my squat is now the best it's ever been my bench press is now the best it's ever been but my deadlift is nowhere near but today is the day where it's all gonna change I hope I really really hope. So drop this video a like, get excited, let's get some breakfast. So contrary to what you might think, on the day of a one rep max attempt, I'm not going to eat like a crazy PR breakfast. I'm going to have the same thing I eat pretty much every day, which is just a standard cereal, milk, and then a protein shake. Now, the reason for this is that I've already been bulking. I've already had the advantage of those excess calories over the last couple of months. Today is about maximizing that and making the most of it. In the few hours leading up to a, a PR attempt or any heavy single, you're not going to gain any advantage from eating anything special or anything more. What you can do is screw it up and feel horrible. So like I said, just stick to what you know, stick to what you've been doing. Don't make any random radical last minute changes. One thing I would definitely advise though is drinking lots of water. Like firstly, being hydrated is obviously a good thing. Secondly, if your body is full of fluid, full of water, it's gonna help your leverage when it comes to lifting heavy. Anyway, I'm gonna get this stuff done and then I'll catch up with you when I'm ready to go. It has been like an hour and a half since breakfast. I found it embarrassingly hard to eat. Like I had a medium bowl of cereal, it took friggin' ages. Basically, I'm very excited, very kind of anxious, nervous. And whenever I feel this way before like a competition or just like a big, I don't know, life event, I find it very, very hard to eat food. But it's done, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna head over to the gym relatively soon. Before I do that, I'm gonna have some of this. It's the pre-workout from my protein. I'm not a big pre-workout man. I've had pre-workout probably less than 10 times in my entire life. Firstly, because I feel like it's a slippery slope, like you start taking it, it improves your workouts, you become reliant on it, and then where do you go from there? But secondly, I don't feel it has that much impact on me. I've tried some friggin' extreme ones and like nothing seems to do much, to be honest. But still, just in terms of placebo, I think it's worth taking. So yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'll head over to the gym. Okay, I've come to the new house, walking down to the gym now, feeling pretty good. The pre-workout actually seems to have had somewhat of an effect. I'm feeling like tingly, like around here, feeling pretty excited, which is cool. Maybe I'm not as impervious to the effects of caffeine as I thought. Um, we're gonna get in, we're gonna get set, we're gonna start warming up and then see how I feel. I don't have the time, bro, I don't wear a watch. I'ma move regardless, just like the clock. Been around here before, I've been on this block. 25 to life, bit I live on this rock. Right, warm is nearly done, feeling pretty good. I'm up to 230 kilograms, moved relatively well, not amazing, but like good enough, I guess. I've actually made quite a big change in my deadlift technique today. Basically, going back to the start of this training cycle, because deadlifts weren't feeling very good, I just started to kind of move things around. I started second guessing myself. I basically started using wraps and I brought my stance in quite a lot and I started lifting my head up a little bit, which I thought would help all of those things, particularly the wraps, to be honest. But I had the opposite effect, didn't really like it. Wraps felt really, really uncomfortable. Narrow stance, just felt like my hips were kind of too far from the bar. And head up for me, even though it's more logical for a sumo stance for me, it just does it feel good, doesn't feel natural. So basically the plan today is to go back to my OG stance. Watching videos of me when I was at my best deadlift wise, going back to my 310 kilogram pull when I was a power lifter, and I'm basically gonna replicate that exact stance. So far, it's feeling really good. It's feeling way more comfortable at least, so that's something. I'm gonna put 270 kilograms on the bar now. Fingers crossed it moves well, and that will influence where we go from there. So, past lives they hover over like crows. Just like I hover over my coat. Okay, 270. Didn't move like amazingly, I'll be honest, but 
was okay, I guess. The setup feels way more comfortable. Like, I'm really happy with that. I just would have liked that to move a little bit faster. There wasn't a sticking point, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't amazing. Um, I'm gonna go up to 305 kilograms now. I've missed it like 50 times. I really, really want to get it. Uh, confidence isn't all that high, but I don't know. Let's just hope we can pull it out. I don't have the time, bro. I don't wear a watch. Okay, what the hell? That was weird. So 305, bear in mind I haven't even moved it off the floor the last two times I've tried it. That moved ridiculously easy. Like that was an RP9, like at most. I watched it back. I don't think I fully locked it out, which is obviously frustrating, but to be honest, I don't care. Like the old setup feels insane. I've basically got three options now. I can call that a PR and just leave it there. I mean, it wasn't a PR, so probably can't do that. I can attempt 305 again, but like, that's boring. Or I can just send it and go for 310 kilograms. I mean, I have no choice really. This ain't got prelance or prelance or prelance or prelance. On prelims, on prelims, I saw, but my run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is. Yes, mate. Have some of that. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. That deadlift was like 30 minutes ago. I filmed this clip about 25 times. Every time I've just been like an incoherent rambling mess. So I'm gonna try and calm myself down, compose my thoughts. Like that was that's mad. Like I am unbelievably happy with that. That is the best any lift has felt for me in a long time. Like, what the hell? Like, that was 310 kilograms and it moved. Like, I've watched it back. I reckon I could have got that for a double, which is just ridiculous. Like, again, bear in mind, 10 days ago, I tried 305, didn't even move it off the floor, wasn't even close. That just felt so good. Like, the switch to the old technique has obviously made a massive difference. I feel like, like, my deadlift is back. Like, for a while now, it hasn't been as enjoyable now. Like, I feel so good. I feel like there's a lot more to come obviously the baby's probably gonna ruin things somewhat but like over the next few months I think there's some big deadlift numbers to come so I'm very very excited one thing I will say about deadlift and loads of weight is that putting the weight away is an absolute ball ache on a side note another conclusion I've drawn here is that my plan this powerlifting plan I've been running is absolutely next level like I've run essentially an eight nine week plan and I've obliterated my squat, bench press, and deadlift PRs. That's insane. Good news for everyone else is that I've put in this plan. It's going to go on the Morsi app. We are finalizing things now. It will be on there soon, along with lots of other sick plans and updates and exciting changes. So if you're not on the Morsi app yet, I'm telling you right now, you need to join the team. The link will be at the top of the description. Go and get involved. For now, though, I'm going to finish unloading this bar. Check none of my neighbors have reported me to the police for screaming like an absolute psycho. Then I'll see you back at home. Back home. How's it going, mate? Cool. <laughs> Good day so far. Nice to see my present. I got for my second birthday. Second birthday. Second Your birthday. Fourth birthday, no. Third birthday. It looks pretty cool when you're looking through it, but mm -hmm. actually, don't look very cool when I see it. Okay, so it's gripping stuff. More importantly, though, 310 <laughs> kilograms, boy. No, Melon, sir. Get the shot out the way, mate. Yeah. 310 <laughs> kilograms. <laughs> How much did you lift? 310 kilograms, 683 pounds. Oh, it's better. What? Now get on. So, what? Well, this, <laughs> um, this is gone. Right, guys, here. Daddy's going to look and watch the video. Daddy, mm -hmm. where's the video? You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, let's do like a review, deadlift review with Luca segment. Are you ready for this? So, you're going to yeah. watch it and then you're going to give me your feedback. Good things, bad things, whatever you think, okay? Yes. So that looks quite good. What's left in my face? Yeah, quite funny but I think. Um, what do you think about that, the bar speed? I think that was easy, hard. Do you think I could have done more? It's quite good. I wasn't the one just two bell straight away and dropped the stool on the floor. And I threw the belt on the floor? Yeah. Aggressive? Yeah, but aggressive. Is it? What do you think? Summary? Conclusion? All good. Give me a five word review of my deadlift. Go. So, one. Um, <laughs> I am. Ten. <laughs> That's the worst review ever. We are out on the hunt for some lunch. I'm extremely hungry. The post deadlift adrenaline is definitely worn out with the team, aka just Sirs and Luca. We've come to a local fish and chip shop. I'm excited. See you in a sec. 
food acquired. What a time to be alive. Luca, talk us through it. This What's in is it, mate? what we have. Okay, show me now. Oh, but, <laughs> it's not a fish and chip gallery. We've got two massive ones of those, so we're going to share them. Eat all of that and we see how long it takes. Are we doing that? I think we're doing that. Says, pregnancy update. Is the baby out yet? Yep, left her home. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, but it's coming soon. How exciting. Um, okay, we're hungry. Let's get involved. That was incredible, solid, nine out of 10 lunch. Sarah and Luca, thoughts? I'm just being wrestled, <laughs> that was really good. It was almost good, as it? good as a 310 kg deadlift. Yeah, boy. Back home, I'm gonna wind the video up here because I just have, before I do that, I've had an exciting delivery. These are the new cans from Excite AK, my energy drink of choice, AK, the undisputed crazy energy drink on the planet. They've had a rebrand, so the cans look different. Ugh. Pretty sick. They've added new tropics as well. The drinks taste amazing. I'll definitely recommend them. There's a link to Excite in the description. Use the code lift me up and you will save 15%. But that is that, my friends. The video is over. 310 kilograms, mate. What a time to be alive. Definitely more to come as well. So keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram for deadlift updates. Uh, we're done. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>